flexibility of Suzaki evident. Likewise, the footwork shoots for the double leg straight away. Good defence from Vuk. Not wasting any time here, Suzaki at all. No fingers. And Vuk is very heavy with her ties. When she snaps ahead, your eyes, you, you get stars in your eyes. Well, who's going to be the biggest star at the end of this one? Gold would be the biggest moment for both athletes. Senior World Championship title at stake. Suzaki working forward. Comes from that incredibly impressive Japanese stable of athletes. They're looking pretty stable in the middle is Vuk. So they warn Vuk for her first passivity. If you watch Suzaki, she does a great job of when Vuk goes to the head, controlling the, either a hand on the other side or an elbow on the side of the head tie. She's really winning that inside position here, keeping Vuk at bay, and not allowing her to have a straight shot. Hard for Vuk to get a look at Suzaki, not too many spaces. Gets the leg this time on the way through. Vuk, good response though. Bit of a scramble, both shoulders down. The referee's going to have a look at this one. Can she win by pin? Suzaki has Vuk on her back. One shoulder down for sure. 4 2 gap. Look at the strength of Vuk here, she's not going to give this one up. Suzaki pushing, probing, looking for the title. World Championship gold, the referee looks. Vuk hanging on in there, can she find her stomach? Oh, she's lived to fight another day. She's super tough, and you notice the score is four to two. They awarded Vuk a four point move feet to back where she was over the head and had her foot on the inside and was able to pull Suzaki to her back, and then Suzaki came back on top and put her on her back. So four points feet to back for Vuk, two points for Suzaki for the uh, the exposure coming back. And wow, she is a stud fighting off her back because she was in deep trouble. Well, we saw Demerhan in the previous bronze doing something similar, avoiding losing her bronze, but. Vuk did well to avoid losing this final here. It could have been all over, bar the shouting, as we move into the last 45 seconds here. As you said, Brian, 4-2 gap. And this time, a warning for Suzaki. What a final this has been so far. No chance to catch her breath. And that's why our sport's so great. You know, it's 4-2. to two. Now 4-4. Four to four. With that beautiful wrap arm, she swung single, kept the arm, and dumped her to her side for two. And if you still notice, though, Vuk still holds criteria because she has the higher points. She had a four-point move. Suzaki had two two-point moves. Now it doesn't matter because Suzaki's got a beautiful gut wrench for two. Can she two, transfer it all two. the way around? She's looking for the win by superiority. 10-4. Well, saved by the bell somewhat will be Vuk. My goodness me, I think we need to lie down and have a, a cold drink after that one. Incredible. I'm very impressed with how opportunistic Suzaki is with that beautiful single leg. But what I loved is the transition from the single leg. She tried to pull the elbow and take her to her back, but then locked up a beautiful gut wrench and started going, one, and then popped her hips for two. And then right away, while not allowing her to have time to settle her hips, she went right into a third. Beautiful. Oh, what a match we have seen so far. A real contest between the two. 14 points shared. Not often you can say that, but the lion share of them for Suzaki. It's been a tigerish performance from her. Looking good for this one. Of superiority, as we've been told, is a 10 point gap. Hook, a nice little handshake. She's conducted herself with great credit, has the Romanian, but it remains to be seen. Can she find a way back into this one? Well, chasing shadows now, lovely movement from Suzaki. Yeah, Vu is going heavy to the head and going to look for big points. Obviously, she's got that in her arsenal with her four-point move off the, off the bat. Suzaki's so good at controlling hands and, and giving uh, her a moving target. She's never staying static, she's never staying still, always constantly moving her feet and uh, constantly looking for position to score, but also 
a defend and a beautiful duck under to the left hand side. She, like I said, she controlled the elbow, pulled the elbow over top, and then right back transitioning to the gut wrench. That was masterful because both takedowns she did, she changed her level. Right arm, swing single, and then a left arm duck under. So using both sides and then transitioning to her gut wrench. That was something of beauty. 18 years old. And John Cullen, we're gonna see her for a long time. No question about it. Suzaki, superb.